Hi there, it's Alexandra from the Middle Size Garden YouTube channel and blog and today I'm talking about planting for small gardens with garden designer Posy Gentles and we're going to look at her garden which is a long thin narrow garden it's only 20 feet wide and 100 feet long and the planting in it so successfully blurs the boundaries that when you're actually in it you don't really realise it's a small garden you don't think about what size it is and you certainly don't see that it's a narrow garden so I put a plan up here so you can actually see what it's like. The back of the house is flat fronted and there's a small kitchen extension which sticks out so she has an L shape around the house and this has been divided into two terraces divided by a large border and a path. Then immediately outside the terrace outside the kitchen is a large border which goes right across the garden and is only punctuated by the garden path that goes down the garden. So she's got a really large planting area and it means that when you look out the windows from the house you can see wonderful colour and shape and style. And the most important thing about planting a long narrow garden is to remember that you need to go across it as much as you can and not down the sides. If Posy had planted the same amount of border but had put them down along the sides of the garden, it would look much longer and thinner and you'd be more aware of its size and its shape. When it came to planting these borders, Posy started with shrub structure, which you need to do. But if you have a large garden and large borders, you can put any kind of shrub in there. But in a smaller garden, you need to look at shrubs that are either vertical or low, because you can see over them or round them. So she has two distinctive views, they're Taxus Baccata David, and she has some round box walls, and these give punctuation and shape. Then when it comes to flowers, Posy believes that it is a bit different for smaller gardens than it is for larger ones. Although she also believes that any rule can be broken and it's your garden, so if you want to do it differently, do it differently. There are three kinds of flowers that she particularly looks for for her small narrow garden. And the first one is once again to use verticals. The ground of your garden is not the only part of it. You've got the air and the more you plant upwards, the larger your garden effectively is. So vertical plants are plants like sangrosorbas and persicarias and anything that goes upwards in a spire. The second kind of planting that Posy likes to use is what she calls soft focus plants and which I think are plants that are almost like a transparent gauze over the garden. They're delicate feathery plants that you can see over and through. They're plants like fennel and nigella that have lovely spiky spidery leaves and flowers and they just scatter across the garden like a fine gauze. The third kind of flowers that Posy likes to use in small gardens are what she calls glitter. A big block of colour from a large drift of planted perennials looks gorgeous in a larger garden, but it could just make a smaller garden look smaller because it blocks off the eye. So Posy likes to use plants with small flowers, lots and lots of little small flowers that dot around the garden like glitter. Things like Gypsophila, for example, Think about plants that have lots of small heads, like some geraniums, and they can be bright colours if that's what you like, pastel colours, Posy has a lot of pastel colours, or white. The next area we come to in Posy's garden is the lawn, and she's got a round lawn, which once again offsets the long, thin side of the garden walls. It is hard to maintain a lawn in a small garden because you have people walking over it, and it can be affected by shade. But Posy's used an eco-friendly grass, which has a high proportion of clover in it. And this is more hard wearing, and she doesn't need to cut it so much. And she wouldn't be able to get stripes in it, of course, but then she doesn't really need them. It's a round lawn in the middle of a small garden. She has three trees in the middle of this lawn, and these provide wonderful privacy from a row of neighboring houses opposite. And if you want to know more about trees for privacy, there are links in the description below. She plants around this lawn with beautiful signature plants like Cornus Norman Haddon and Hydrangeas and other plants that are quite happy with a bit of shade. And there are a huge number of plants that are very happy with a bit of shade. And then at the other side of the lawn, the path goes on. And this particular path is a seashell path which is environmentally friendly because it uses a byproduct of the seafood industry and it also slowly decomposes so it's not like leaving a path that will still be there in a hundred years time 
At this back, Posy has got a few vegetables and many people would use this as the vegetable garden, but she also uses it for planting flowers. And another element that a small garden needs is some really big statements. So Posy has chosen echiums, which tower up into the air 15 feet and are beloved by pollinators, and cardoons, which are great statuesque architectural plants with huge grey felty leaves. There are two other kinds of plants which Posy thinks works well in small gardens, and one of those are plants with movement. Grasses and bamboos, for example, sway gently in the wind, and once again you can see through them, you can see that there is more garden behind, even though you don't know quite exactly how far it might go. She also thinks that variegated leaves work well in small gardens because they add light. These white and green, or cream and green, striped and patterned leaves shine out of a dark corner and just add light to borders. Trees are very important in any small garden. Posy's garden has about five trees and as you can see they don't make the garden look smaller, they use the vertical space and they're great for climbers to go up into. When it comes to pots Posy has decided this year to go for leaf contrast and architectural shape rather than flowers. On the Middle Size Garden blog, I've done a post on Posy's garden, and this grouping of pots is the favourite pin that people pick from the post. Most of Posy's furniture has come from junk shops or it's been handed down from people, and she's painted it in colours that harmonise with the garden. And that's a lovely way of making your furniture look as if it really was a bit special. There are links in the description below to Posy Gentle's garden design and some of the other resources I've mentioned in this video. And do hit like if you've enjoyed this because then I'll know you'd like to hear more advice on planting, particularly for small gardens. And if you'd like tips, ideas and inspiration for your garden, then do subscribe to the Middle Size Garden YouTube channel and thank you for watching. Goodbye.